I said if I got close on the 2020 deliveries, I'd share my math. So here we go. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Tesla delivered a record 180,570 cars in Q4, handily beating targets set for them by everyone except themselves. Getting within 450 cars of guidance in such a once-in-a-century cluster frunk is a monumental achievement. I got close on my estimate, published December 31st, and you guys asked for it, so let's take a look at my math and see how I got there. If you want to see more videos like this or suggest a topic, let me know in the comments and consider subscribing since it's the only way YouTube knows to actually show you more videos like this. Using the quarterly delivery reports, we see 88,400 in Q1, 90,000 in Q2, and 139,300 in Q3. I wanted to find actual deliveries after the dust settled, but I ran out of time, so I figured being within half a percent would get me close enough. Now I just needed to figure out Q4, which is, of course, the hard part. I based my assumptions almost entirely on capacity. Fremont has a stated capacity of 22,500 per quarter for S and X, and although 17,000 would be an above average quarter for these models, I assumed the price drop in October would result in increased sales. The Fremont S and Y lines have 125,000 quarterly capacity, but Fremont never hits capacity, and there was surely downtime in both production and deliveries due to the holidays, so I went with a nice round 85%. Shanghai Model 3 has a capacity of 62,500 per quarter, but they routinely run at or even slightly above capacity, and they don't take time off for Christmas. Having watched four hours of regular drone footage over the quarter, 99% utilization felt right to me, though in hindsight I can admit this was overly optimistic. My biggest miss was that I believed we would see Model Y sales in China before the quarter ended. While there have been hot leaks in the last week or so showing production models in the shipping yard, I've been seeing them in my research for over a month. I couldn't see a reason why they'd wait until 2021 to actually ship, so I used 800 as a delivery figure, which was entirely wrong. So there are a few confidence factors that came into play. The little ones on a per product, per factory basis like I've just shown, but also the bigger one, Elon himself. Before I explain, permit me three seconds to say thank you to my Patreons who get bonus material and the extra inside scoop. So the extra confidence from Elon is that there was a leaked email that went out to employees on December 26th that read, essentially, we have five days to go to hit our historic milestone of 500,000 cars built and delivered. These leaks are nothing new and often indicate just how close they are to achieving milestones. I can't say if I'd have come up with different figures without it because I didn't try. My numbers came after the fact, but when I looked at this against my math, it suggested Tesla would hit their target with two days to spare. And that felt right to me. It wasn't caused to increase my numbers or to decrease them. So that put my delivery guesstimate at 185,800 against actual deliveries of 180,570. My true estimate for 2020 deliveries was 504,150. And since we're just playing around, I changed the 150 to 200 for a sly 420 joke. Nice. With actual deliveries of 185,570, the rough official figures would show 498,920. Though including settled sales from previous quarters, it came out to 499,550. My estimate was off by 0.9%, which I am happy with, especially considering the Wall Street fact set consensus was 492,980. Wall Street was off by 1.32%. I'm starting to think this is why you guys are watching these videos. Please remember that I am not a financial advisor, and nothing here should be taken as investment advice. I am long Tesla and plan to remain so. So stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop.